What's going on, everybody? It's VDX. So the Tekken 8 beta has been gone for almost about a week now. Uh, we're either back playing Tekken 7, condolences, or playing a better game. You know, apparently the new Spider-Man's pretty cool. I don't have a PS5 to try it out right now, but yeah. There's no way for me to go into this video without looking like a total scrub. I have to keep it real. I get bodied, and despite all that, I have to stick to my guns. I know, I know King is a very popular character in the Tekken space, but this character is really dumb. At least as of the beta test. He has a running armored dash when he's in heat that has a unbreakable throw, a launching move, a mid that jumps over lows because lows are the only way to beat power crush, and a sliding low. So you're forced to get up and guess. There's n you are never in a position where you're going to be okay. And it's not even that hard for him to access heat, right? He could just activate it for one. And when he lands these throws, they restore his heat meter. But... Also, he has that Jaguar step into the elbow, so he has an enhanced back single back dash with an elbow safe mid that turns him into full heat state. That's not even my main gripe, like that all kind of sucks, but he benefits the most from the counter hit throw change. I'll get to the gameplay in a sec, but basically for counter hit throws, you have normally 20 frames to break a throw. So if you add the amount of the throw startup, 30 frames, you get a lot of time to react usually. You get 8 frames to react to counter hit throws. It was so bad that most players basically just assumed it was unbreakable. I'm talking about professional Tekken players who break throws for money. This is like their livelihood. Everybody was assuming in the first beta test, the closed network test, that throws that hit you on counter hit were unbreakable. And then in interviews they said, well technically it's not unbreakable, you just need to be faster. 8 frames off of King's 10 frame grabs? You have to literally be low high to react to lows that fast. There's no way you can see that throw react and pick the right button. It's virtually impossible. It's supposed to be a guess. I'm off my soapbox. Enjoy the gameplay. It's a lot of me getting bodied by King. If you're a King player, take notes. This stuff is ridiculous. Well, anyways, at the end, I will go into a more detailed description and rant, for sure ranting, about counter hit throws. Enjoy the video. X views. Wait, I think I either played this guy in Tekken 7 or the last beta. What if the break was rollback? No, no, you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference of how hard it is to break it. Bro. This is insane, man. That's just an unbreakable throw. I... <laughs> If he runs at you, you have to hit him low. Bro. Oh, yeah. I got side thrown. You fucking thought, man. Claudio is so funny in this game, man. I'm fucking dead. Excuse me? 
run this shit back. Rage jets are minus 15. They were minus 13 in the closed, like, location test. Oh, here we go. He jumps over lows. Bro, King is not okay. Oh, yeah, it's good punish. All right. This is crazy. <laughs> Half his HP. That did half my HP. What in God's green fucking earth is going on, man? You've got to be kidding me. I died. <laughs> I love his hop kick voice line. It is so much more aggressive. Ah! Ah! It's like, get, get them the fuck away from me. Ah! No way, bro. He spent his heat. He spent his heat. I have a chance. It's like, ah! I just didn't break it? Okay. Get that shit out of here. Don't point at me. Oh, that is really, really obnoxious. I scratched my eye because I thought I was already in a throw. You ever think about that? I thought I was already being thrown. Nice little pair. Dinosaur, what the fuck? You just somebody just talked about that. Oh, Sarah. up into it. Ooh, 
Wow, he can alley kick right after that? Holy shit. Yeah, Claudio's heat smash is a hell sweep. Whoever green lighted that was off their rocker. Oh my god, I'm dead, man. What is that? <laughs> Who gave him a Steve Rage Drive? What is this? that I shoot things at him, bro. He grabs me and I die. You're telling me Steve spent years of boxing training to get a fucking 14 frame launcher that flips you into the air at range 40? And King just hits the ground so hard. GG's X views, that was fun. And King just hits the ground so fucking hard that you just die? <laughs> Wait, man. Two in a row. Oh my God. And the connection is bad. I'm gonna... If the stream ends early, you guys know what happened, okay? <gasps> oh. <sighs> LIB is libert Libertador. Her stance. I died. I jammed. <laughs> Has Claudio been changed? Not that I noticed. Oh, his down forward one isn't plus 10 anymore. So you can't jab for free if you hit a down forward one. A lot of the other stuff is unchanged. Like, he still has a mini magic four combo. Did I not? He counter hit my jab because I started breaking that shit early. This has to go, man. This has to go. I can't. I started jabbing in reaction to the animation, so I got counter hit and died because I couldn't break it in the window of the counter hit, even though I was hitting the button. I'm so sick, bro.
I think they made ranking easier in this. I don't think you go down in rank at all in the CBT. Claudio L, sweet. God, <laughs> what a combo. Oh my God, I thought he would go low. He just went mid again. Why does King make dinosaur sounds? Okay, he did go low. Oh my. That didn't launch me. That caught me off guard. It looks like his, uh, they did change Claudio a bit. He does less chip damage, and I'm about to eat half, more than half my fucking life bar, man. That does no chip anymore. I'm dead. Why can't I back through three? Maybe it has something to do with the flashing red and 82 MS the whole time. three oh is that why why is that why is that a thing that's good info actually but why oh my god you sharp wait what i was breaking one plus two this game sucks why did they make king so good in the dumbest way but nerfing the ability to break throws is really dumb. I don't, not in that case, just like in general. Oh, I'm dead. See you guys. I'm dead. I can't believe that. They've got to take that change away. There's, I don't, I don't think anybody's happy with counter hit throws except the king players. Good duck, good duck. I, you know, I can't even complain about that. That's my fault. Oh, I'm back one is actually too slow to use against King. That's crazy. I might die. Why don't they make Hell Sweep unblockable? I mean, think about it. They made it unsteppable for a patch, right? So it's kind of in the same flavor. How did that hit me? I was backdash. Fight. 
to play so small against King. I'm so dead, bro. He's going to rage drive me. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Small pokes. Oh. Bro, there's no way. What is going on, dude? That doesn't work anymore. Dude's computer is suffering. Why you can't punish shit with Claudio? I got counter hit thrown. I broke one plus two. This is doomed. One plus two. I'm dead. I'm dead. GG's, bro. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. Counter, th counter hit throws have to go, bro. Like, is there an, an is there a way I can test it? Like, let me let me test this. I have an idea. I have an idea. There's definitely a way I can test this, right? I will go minus and then do a throw input and see how hard it is to break. I think that's what I want to do. So we're going to do standing block and then mimic. And I'm going to do the throw input. I have to do that. Okay, so with this setup, I can block a move and then make King throw me while Claudio tries to press another move, right? So what I'm going to do is try and trigger a giant swing while I'm getting counter hit from a jab. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, watch how fast I mash one. I need to get like frames where I get counter hit. So, okay. wait, what? Do you see that? Do you see how I was mashing one? Or do I have to do it with an input that isn't the same as the jab, right? Like I need, this would be easier to test with, oh, can somebody just hop in a lobby with me? This will be so much easier to test. Can somebody hop in a lobby with me? All right, wait, wait, okay, so I'm gonna key charge. Can you just mix command throws on me? Actually, mix command throws on me first. I'm gonna break them. Did Kaz has, what? He has a one plus two throw? Yeah, there we go. All right, so what are we gonna do? Mix, yeah, mix, mix me on throws. I'm gonna key charge. Actually, wait, I'm not going to key charge to show that I can actually break it. Mix command throw and regular throw. Yeah, we're testing counter hit throws because I just keep getting fucking killed by kings and now I'm mad about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm ass. Forget about that. It's late. The 37 hour stream. All right, now I'll key charge. I, this is crazy. It's like unbreakable. Like, I have to hit it in advance. It's a f way more than a few frames tighter. That one I broke wrong, but I've had situations where I'm jabbing a king and he giant swings me. Like, as I'm mashing jab. Like, the speed you have to do it, it's effectively unbreakable. Five, fra yeah, five frames sounds about right you would have to already be hitting the button. It's unfeasible. It doesn't make sense. It's so like when they say it's technically not unbreakable, which is what they said in an interview. That's a fucking joke because a five frame break window is not a break window. Because think about the speed of a frame, the speed of a frame. Thank you for helping me Pacific. So the, the, the speed of a throw is 12 frames. Generically, a king throw is 10 frames like the good ones, right? So if you have a 20 frame break window, that's, that's why it's reactable is because you have the 12 frames plus the 20. So 32 frames total for reference, most Tekken breaks are gen or most Tekken reactable moves are generally accepted to be around 21 to 23 frames, depending on that, right? So change that now to five frames of the window plus a 12 generously, right? 17 frames. That's way below reactable to get to see which hand is coming out and then hit the button at the same time. Now, if it were break any, right? Like say 
he does only generic throws, so I can press one or two. That you could do. But when it's between a character that has a 10 frame throw plus a five window, you're not reacting to that. You have to guess. And you just got counter hit. So even if you're guessing, you're probably guessing late. Like you can't recognize that something's happening to you that quickly, usually, unless you're low high, literally a TWT champion. It doesn't make sense for how Tekken generally rewards you for being able to train and react to things. It's like they just created artificial randomness. Mental stack. It's not even, but the thing is, it's not even a mental stack thing, right? It's not even a mental stack thing. It's not like, oh, okay, I'm going to do all my moves, and on the chance that I get counter hit, I'm going to know which throw to break. It's literally unreactable. Even the 15 frame window is hard, but it's not impossible, right? A 15 frame window plus the 12, right? So you're at 27 frames, 25 frames for Julia and King. It's doable. It's harder, but it's doable. So, like, the difference between a Tekken 7 throw, 20 frames, and a old game throw, 15 frames, which is like uh, how Fakum Rams was on release. Nobody was breaking that, but the five frame difference made it almost impossible for people to break coming from seven to an old game. They've reduced it by 15. It's three times the bigger gap. Like it's not breakable. I, I can't even believe, I try not, I try to be really gracious with opinions about what like development teams go through to make a game because it is hard and you have to make a lot of tough decisions. I really, really, have contentions with the idea that they claim it is still breakable, right? The intention is that it is not breakable or the intention is that you're not supposed to react. If you're going to break a counter hit throw, it's because you got lucky from play experience as someone who breaks throws fairly consistently in Tekken seven, who used to break throws in tag two, this is just not meant to be broken. It is disingenuous to say, well, technically you could break it, <laughs> you know, but that's enough salt posting. But honestly, even if they change just that, I think King would be fine. King would be like annoying, like, but he'd be strong in a way that is playable. King can now just throw out 10 frame Steve back ones over and over again that randomly don't work because they might've been hitting the right button. Leave a comment if you guys think differently, if you think the same, leave a like if you agree with me. Leave a like if you don't agree with me. Likes are helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.